That must be the most expensive game of rock, paper, scissors of all time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you like this one. Let's get into it. Okay, I just watched the final episode of Squid Game, the challenge on Netflix, and it was so good. I've really loved this series, so I just wanted to do a video where I talk about my thoughts on the finale, what I wanted to happen, what did happen, who won, and just discuss the whole series. I'm so excited they are doing another season of this. In fact, it's looking likely that maybe the second season of this comes out before the second season of the other Squid Game, and I think that's really cool. This is such a good reality format. Like, it works so well, almost too well as a reality show, and I loved this entire season. And with $4.56 million on the line, this is actually the biggest prize giveaway in the history of television, I'm pretty sure, at least in the history of reality TV. So. This is a life-changing amount of money that one person is gonna win from this show. And it's a life change. even a million dollars is life-changing. Four, four and a half million dollars is massive. And it all comes down to these last three competitors, my, Phil, and Sam. And I'm gonna be really honest, going into this episode, I think a lot of people really didn't want my to win. Now, if you're watching this video, I assume you have seen the episode. So you know that my does in fact win the $4.56 million against Phil. And here's the thing. The reason I didn't want Mai to win is because there were just a few kind of snaky, backstabby things about her, especially sort of a few episodes ago with TJ where she was talking uh, behind TJ's back about him not, not being trustworthy and then suddenly changed allegiance when he protected her. I thought that was... Uh, just no good. But the other thing I did actually respect her for was in the uh, glass bridge challenge when, uh, I can't remember the lady's name, but she wouldn't jump in front of the son in the mother-son duo. I don't know these people's names. I've forgotten. I apologize. But, um, you know, everyone agreed in that dice roll game that they were going to nominate themselves and take the risk. But Mai said no, because I don't think this lady was a team player, so I'm nominating her. And I actually respected her for that, but I didn't really want her to win. I didn't think she played honestly, but I guess Squid Game, as we know, isn't necessarily about playing honesty. honestly. It's about playing smart. And I do think she played smart. To be honest, I really wanted Phil to win. Both Phil and Sam, I feel like, have been really quiet players in the game. And maybe that's because they edited this retrospectively to make my sort of a prominent character. Um, but yeah, Phil and Sam, I feel like, didn't have any drama or didn't have any, like, big kind of moments throughout the show. They were just kind of there the whole time. And I just wanted Phil to win because he seemed really chill, seemed cool, didn't seem to have much of a, like, agenda. And also, I loved his performance in the game where they had to put the parcel on the other person's um, table and then he would have they you would have to accuse someone of putting the parcel there. His performance was so funny and fun and he played it so well. I really enjoyed him from that. So I wanted him to win. But unfortunately he came second. And here are some thoughts on how the episode played out. I really wasn't sure what the game was going to be. Part of me actually thought the final game might be like handball, like we call it in Australia four square or two square, hitting a tennis ball back and forth to get someone out. But I do think doing rock, paper, scissors was such a great great decision because it is very like rock paper scissors is very chance based but there is some strategy behind it more on that later but also the variation like it's not just one game and then the winner wins it's like if you win you get to grab a key to a safe and if you are, your key opens the safe you win so they go few a lot of rounds and as i was watching this in particular i think i completely changed my mind on wanting my to win because I did feel like she was using a lot of strategy to try and predict Phil's movements. And Phil even says he was just throwing it random, but it did feel like Mai, as she said, had a strategy, had a thought on what he might go and was really trying to adapt to him to make sure she won the most times and she did. And inevitably that led to her winning. I thought it was a really good twist on rock, paper, scissors, and it was just really intense to watch. I think it came out really, really well. And I also love that it was hands behind your back instead of having to do it like this, like we normally would, because having your hand behind your back really just removes any kind of error or trying to be like, no, I meant this. So I meant this. Like it just makes it really clean and easy to do. At the end of the day, yeah, I was really glad my one. And I also liked one variation on the original Squid Game is like, the fact that people could actually be happy about winning the money, like in the original Squid Game, of course, 
yes, he wins the money, but he hates the idea of spending it because of all the people who died and there's all this bloodshed and violence and death that uh, surrounds the win. Whereas at least in this, it's like, okay, you won a reality TV show. You didn't know what actually died. I think that puts a little bit of a positive spin on it. It makes it a nice ending for a viewer. And of course they end the episode with some of the key characters being shown at home in their day-to-day -day lives. For example, we see the mother and son. They're playing table tennis at home. We actually see Phil and he's um, looks like he's scuba diving. I think he's from Hawaii. He looks like he's there. Sam, of course, is doing his art. He's an artist and a few of the other main kind of players in the show are seen sort of back in their day-to-day -day lives, which was also a really fun, positive way, I thought, to end the show. But then Mai uh, goes to a bank account and sees her $4.56 million. And I think that was a really good way of ending it. But like, was good to see some of those key players again and that it all was just fun uh, at the end of the day. Like, would love to watch a bunch of behind the scenes stuff with the cast together or anything like that and then of course ending with a casting call and honestly like part of me is like oh i should totally do this it would be really fun and the other thing is i don't know i wonder what games they could do in a new season of squid game like if the second season of the real squid game comes out obviously they'll want to mirror the games from that so hopefully it's something like that or they're just gonna have to do all original games i do like how this season was a mix of Squid Game sort of at the start, but then having more original games mixed in to sort of throw them off, particularly with the Tug of War, which ended up being the battleships. I really think that was a good twist because they were all expecting Tug of War, but it ended up being a very different game with very different strategy. The one thing I was really surprised about in the final is that I'm pretty sure the old guy whose name was Steve, the whole time I was watching, I really thought that he was going to be an echo of the old guy from the original Squid Game. I thought at the end it was going to reveal that he was like staff at Netflix or like the executive producer of the show and he was in there the whole time as another little nod uh, to the original but also a twist for the viewers. I thought that would be really good. I guess I just overthought it. Maybe they weren't planning on doing that but I wouldn't be surprised if they did something similar to that in the second season. I really was surprised when he got eliminated a little bit earlier on in the season because I did genuinely think it was going to end with that being a big reveal like maybe he comes out and says you're the winner my congratulations i'm the producer or something like that overall this was an incredible show genuinely really enjoyed this entire series and cannot wait for season two it really got me hooked i could not stop watching and as soon as it appeared on netflix i was like i have to watch this right now and stop everything else i'm doing and then when i finished i was like i have to make this video right now and talk about this one more question i want to leave you with Rock, paper, scissors. Where I grew up, it was scissors, paper, rock, but I know other people call it paper, scissors, rock. Comment below, not just your thoughts on Squid Game and my winning and the rock, paper, scissors, but what did you call that game growing up? For me, it was scissors, paper, rock. With that, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I do a bunch of pop culture videos on this channel, which you can check out right now, and I'd love for you to stick around and watch a bunch of my other videos on my channel and my podcast as well. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching. My name's in Radio Mike. I'll see you in the next video.